Part 2 begins now. So, as I said earlier, we're destroying our competition. We're not giving them any breathing room, any chance, not even a glimmer of hope, because that's how we want to do it. We want to destroy people, we want to crush their egos, we want to crush their spirits, and we want to fly high like a, like a kite in the sky. So tell me what, are we going to do it, boys, or not? Huh? Yeah, we are. I'm doing it. Look at this. Look at these moves I'm making, man. I'm playing like a fly boy in the sky. Okay, so he's planning this. I've got to watch out for the loose rook here. Uh, he, he can take it with the with the bishop, and it might just work. Got this guy under pressure too. Probably take it, right? Okay. I don't think that was quite the most prudent move from him, but whatever. Got to watch out for a mating attack. Uh, let's go here. Let's consolidate our position a little bit. Take good stock of our advantage. Yeah, it's game over. We got a fork, another fork to boot. Yeah. People can see that they're up against a machine. Not human, not man. Just raw, brute power of excellence. Unparalleled aggression, dominance. Uh, that's a blunder. We'll have to suck it up. Uh, I guess we'll close up the position a little bit. I want to give myself some opportunity to outmaneuver him in the game. What's our opportunity? What's our plan for outmaneuvering? Okay, we he, we have the bishop pair and he doesn't, so that's to our advantage. He's a 1900 level player, so he's not going to be a cakewalk. We're going to keep him. Uh, we've got to keep him at bay on the clock for sure. We've got to put some clock pressure on him. So we're going to keep our queens on the board. He's trying to just trade off his pieces. We're not going to let that happen so easily. Uh, so he has a rook, which I don't. That's one of the key differences. I'm going to keep my queen on the board. I need heavy pieces on the board. So I'm probably going to have to start disturbing the woodwork here on the king side somehow. Give him some problems to worry about. Maybe get my bishop here. That seems pretty good, although this knight gets here pretty, pretty swiftly. Hopefully he moves his queen right there. Okay, he went for a more aggressive square. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit uneasy with my king over here, to be honest. Perfectly honest. I think his knight gets here pretty easily, so I don't want to play this move just yet. Uh, he's very low on the clock. He's taken his uh, small position, material advantage a little bit too much to heart, if you ask me. And he... Yeah, you're not going to just crush me. I'm not that easy to checkmate. So, you need to play a little bit different strategy, while take, which takes into account the time aspect of this game because I'm certainly not going to show any mercy on the clock. And then he asked me, am I not merciful? Um, you can win the pawn, that's about it. Hmm. 
Go ahead. Harass the queen. Get this knight into some exotic squares. Where shall we go? Maybe here? We can get our knight in here. Yeah. Harass that rook big time. Okay. Okay, what do we want to do? Let's get our queen here attacking the square from the far flank. Um, move our king up. He's probably got some back rank ideas in mind, although nothing really mature. <clears throat> we can get our knight here, get a really hardened up center. Yeah, nothing to worry about here. Uh, who knows? Let's just make a waiting move. We have a check there. Check. Um, don't want to get too carried away here. Let's just hide our queen away. Okay. Okay, good game. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> what? just totally outplayed in, in terms of raw speed, aggression, and excellence once again. So here we have a guy who lost in like seven moves in the last game. Maybe he'll resign right away here. You know, I'm, I'm in such an invincible mood that most people aren't even trying against me. Yeah. Okay, next game, <clears throat> and this will be the next game, and then oh, we'll have part three. So here we have a 1300 level opponent, someone to slice and dice. Uh, let's get our queen activated. Okay, he's got knights out in the middle, so what are we going to do with because knights out? Probably want to harass him with some pawns, right? Let's harass him with some pawns. We don't want to do this one because he has a pretty nice square there. So this one's more on the cards, <clears throat> but I'm waiting to prepare this move first, so I might move knight here first. Huh? Okay, okay, he's just going for it. Go for it, Bo, I'm ready. Come on, come at me! <laughs> yeah. I mean, such an aggro move, sacking a piece for two central pawns, right, off the middle of the bat in the game. You think you're going to squash me in the middle of the board? Fat chance! Got to watch out for this square. It's a little bit soft, with the bishop having a long ridge diagonal on it. Um, hmm. He does have some attacking pressure, we'll give him that, but... Yeah. <sighs> so what's my next move? Not really sure, I mean, no. Well, this is an idea, just to make a cheap threat of mate. We could block that bishop off. Ask some questions to this knight. Ah. Okay. I'm going to ask some questions of this queen. Got to keep sure to play the game fast, either which way, because he's not going to finish me off. So, we're going to ask some questions here, put in a check, win the exchange. Oh, he's got this, he's got this move, he didn't see it. Maybe he couldn't play it. Let's go here. 
Uh, ah, he's got a nice move there. He didn't see it. Okay, so all we want to do is make sure we don't lose the game outright, which is not totally impossible in this situation, mind you. We're attacking a nice little pawn over there. Um, it's a slightly scary position for black. There is a little bit of mating pressure, potentially. So we have to remember that while pre-moving and such. We can't just pre-move blindly. Of course, now that we take the queens off the board, it's much simpler, much less hassle. Um, yeah, and then we can pre-move our way to victory, because he's not going to resign. You can already tell the non-resigners from the resigners. Okay, okay, on to part three. 